<laughs> yeah. Hello, YouTubers. How we doing today? Uh, it's Leo again, out here doing some camping. Got my buddy Danny here. He's working on his channel too. Got a train coming. <laughs> that train. So he's videoing me while I'm videoing him. Hang on, we'll get a close up. That's as close right <laughs> there. You can't ask for no closer right there. And Danny, Danny has agreed to set up all the tents. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it's worth a try. <laughs> Doing good. Guys, everybody, this is Hank Hatfield. Uh, <laughs> he's the owner, well, his son, Chansey, technically. Right, Chansey. I think you gave it to him, though, didn't yeah. you? So that I counts. Gave, I gave him the property, and he did this. Yeah. All the work. But they are they are Hatfields. So this is Hank Hatfield, everybody. Say hi. Hello, everyone. Say hi. <laughs> Good guy, yeah, he is. I, I like old Hank. He's 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 a character now. I think he said he was uh, about seventy. I, I, I'm not sure if he's. I don't remember exactly, but I remember him telling me that he has never drank a drop of alcohol in his life of any kind. Me neither. None. I can say that too. I've never ever never drunk a smoke a cigarette or a drink alcohol. You Ever. never drink any alcohol no. whatsoever. I really don't know what it tastes like. Well, come on, let's go get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> And Danny working on his air bed. Well, I got mine up, sort of. <laughs> you got it, mate. Yeah, we got us a little, got us a warm little fire going. Yeah, buddy, we got wood and everything. Hank brought us a big pile of firewood, and we just kind of hanging out by my busted tent. Well, you're not sleeping in that tonight, are you? No, no, I'll be sleeping in the camper. You now the direct fire, don't I? Getting a little bit too hot to quit burning this outside. This is master at work. Look at him. He, he... Yeah, move in easy. You have to be real casual. <laughs> you have to sneak up on the fire because yeah. it'll, you know, run. <laughs> Something we don't have to worry about is snakes tonight, right? No, I don't think we'll be too many. See a snow snake. <laughs> snow snake. What do you think, guys? That puppy look about right. It's smoking ready. <laughs> little, little bit more. What y'all think? Ow. Pretty good. Huh? That is really good. That was really freaking hot. <laughs> 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 Gonna be a beautiful day though. Look at all that sun, blue sky. Gonna be a beautiful day. Let's that out. Just cheer a second, man. Look how easily we're entertained. Well, it don't take much, does it? <laughs> Check out the frost on the ground. You ready? Yeah. You can see that everything else, all the frost, wherever this, there's shade. It's gone. But look at that. Ready? Yeah, move it out of the way. There you go. Now look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you see the imprint of that chair on the you ground can, with that The frost. shade from the legs, the seat, just the and the back of the cushion. That's well, wild looking. We don't take much entertain us, does it? No, it don't. <laughs> it, it don't, Danny. We're, we're pretty easy entertained, apparently, buddy. <laughs> but that's cool, though. <laughs> Ooh. Else like that. Frost on the ground. Hey, look, here's another leg right here. Yeah, the other leg part right there. <laughs> gonna think about it and then we're gonna go do something right yeah we're gonna get us a fire going it's uh what about 33 34 degrees right now something like that it's pretty cool it's pretty cool out so we're gonna get us a little fire going i'm gonna get me some coffee going danny's not really a coffee drinker he's weird I'm different, ain't I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I might drink some this morning with all my pipes out. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, brother. Not a bad idea. Hey, guys, uh, it's about, what we say, 10, 10.30? Yeah, Something like that. Yeah. 
Uh, we're just sitting around waiting, you know, getting nice and warm before we go. In case the spot we're looking for is in the shade and cold and windy and all that good stuff. But Danny broke out something to show me that he had found recently. And I thought I would show this to you guys. Do you know what it is? I'll give you a hint. This piece is missing. There was another piece that went right here. It's an old Indian arrowhead. And it's made from flint. flint. But you can see right here where the, the little hoops are where you tie it off to your stick, to the arrowhead. And it looks like it's probably been broken when they were trying to make it. The way you do that, it's called flint napping. Would you hold that, Dean? I sure will. It's called flint napping. You take another stone and you hold this and you just break little tiny pieces off of this thing as you go and form it into a little arrow, you know, like so this part here is missing that's probably what happened to this one when they were napping it flint napping it they probably snapped the head off and just threw this one down and started over again but realistically speaking you've probably got many many hours of work yeah and that piece might be there somewhere i never looked very very hard that day it so i'm probably gonna, is i'm going back tomorrow and i'm, I'm gonna see what i i, I, I would say it is somewhere nearby yeah i would definitely go back there we are on our way heading out to go find this graveyard there's the sign in case anybody's curious hatfield's hideout riverfront cabins this way dan oh okay sharp right huh? yeah yeah fish pond. I've fished here a couple times. And the Pug River right down there. Is this the trust that he was talking about? Earlier? Yeah, it's right down here. Look how pretty that is. Is that not beautiful? Valuable lesson, never hang out with Leo. He gets you into weird places like this. <laughs> I don't know. Here it is, we're here. Just back up and pull right in there, that's it. Found it, guys. And I have never been here before. As far as I know, as far as I know, the cemetery that we're about to show you guys has never been videoed for YouTube. This has never been published this is new stuff here right danny that's that's right i'm with you bud today, <laughs> today I'm with you. yep this is the john wallace hatfield cemetery and y'all see way up a little dirt road to get back up here on the side of this mountain i think i see a house out through there but that's all right we ain't going nowhere near the house and you can see there's several. There's some that are marked, and you can see dips. I yeah. see a dip there. I see a dip there. I see a field stone sticking up right we, there. We know what that means, don't that we? That means there's a lot of unmarked graves in this cemetery. Let's do it. Now, these are fairly fresh. This one here is, the first one. We don't usually do... We don't usually do more recent graves because a lot of the descendants are still alive and you don't really want to be touching sensitive nerves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, the whole idea is to document history, document these graveyards, not to, not to hurt descendants, not to hurt family members. So we wait. We don't go immediately, and we're kind of leery. That's a 2001, so it's not real new. This is Lawn Opal Bailey, September 27th. 1920 to July 19th, 1993, and Opal Lawn Bailey, July 29th, 1922 to 2001. 
Now, a lot of these newer graves, you would think, you would think that it would be easier to find information on newer graves, but that is not the case at all. You can find more information about a hundred year old grave than you can a new grave. It's nice. Somebody's made them a little spot to come out and visit, ain't they? Yes, they have. It's beautiful, isn't it? Holding you in our hearts till we hold you in heaven. How happy do they look? They just look really happy together, don't they? And these are Hatfields as well. This is the Reverend Sonny A. Hatfield, uh, 1921 to 2002, and Nola May Hatfield, 1924 to 2018. Okay, this is Sonny's, the Reverend Sonny Hatfield. This is his. He's military, guys. Sonny A. Hatfield, FC1. I wonder what that des designation is. First class... Hmm. First class something. I've seen a lot of these, but maybe one of you guys out no. there can help us out with that one. The FC1. I'm not really sure what that is. Right. You can see the field stones there yeah, and I there. A lot of those there. There. them old, old, old places I go to. Yeah. Like that right Yeah. There. Yeah. No indication on this side. Sort of looks homemade too, like, like yeah. a lot of the ones I make. <laughs> it looks like there might have been something here. A plaque or something, maybe? Or it been look like it might have been brushed out, even. Maybe. Doesn't it? Maybe. Huh. I don't see any name on either side. I'm guessing it's weathered off over here. This is I've never seen a steel one before. It's yeah, it is, steel. isn't it? It, it sure is. Was it cast iron? I don't know, but it's, it's steel. Wow. And, and it made in a heart. Yeah. It, This is Dewey Brewer, born June 8th, 1905, and died June 16th, 1936. Goodness. It says, at rest on the steel headstone. That is wild. I've never seen one like that. That is. Steel. Definitely is not going to. Listen to that thing ring. That's cast iron, I believe. Be. Now cast iron would be rusted, but now wouldn't it? Look at that. That is wild looking. That is really cool though. That's the first one I've ever seen. I've seen Me too. You've been too. to a lot of graveyards. I bet something Have like you? that cost a fortune. I bet something like that cost a lot to do. I'd say. Have you seen? Yeah, this one. Uh, nothing. Which I guess it could. No, it couldn't be De Dewey's. Because it's not in line. More like it's a child too, isn't it? Well, it could be. It. Someone's done the same repair to this one that they did to that back one. You can see the brush marks. I think it's where that one's broken. This one's broke. Somebody probably drilled it out and put some metal in it or something, maybe. Have to keep it together, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is Lorraine Step Brewer. Get over here without getting on it. 1878. Yeah. 1945. Yeah. It was a long time ago, wasn't it? 1870. Well, even 1945 was a long time ago. That was ending of the World War II, wasn't it? Yeah. Last year. Sure was. Deer tracks. Saw him. See all these deer tracks? Yeah, I did. I did notice that. There's another one. I don't know if that's Lorraine's footstone or mm -hmm. another grave going this way. I'm assuming it's probably another grave, 
because that one is definitely does not go to that. It's not in line. Uh, it's probably down this way. So I'm thinking there's a grave there and probably a grave right behind you as well. This is Maisie Hatfield, born November 6, 1910, and died May 29, 1984. Sherman Hatfield, born September 23, 1908, to July 10, 1981. Hang on now. James Hatfield, Kentucky, SP3, BTR, why? I mean, I, that's Battery A, yeah, 31st Artillery, Artillery Battalion, born May 1, 1935 and died April 11th, or April 16th, excuse me, in 1967. Okay, now this is Rebecca Jane Hatfield, 1889 to 1965. Now this is Nancy Jane Hatfield, May 23rd, 1863 to February 22nd, 1922 and J.W. Hatfield, born in 1860 and passed away August 29th in 1929. Go ahead and put that back where it goes. John Wallace Hatfield was related to the famous Devil Ants Hatfield. His father Valentine was the grandson of Ephraim Hatfield who settled on the Kentucky and West Virginia border or along the Tug River. This Ephraim was nicknamed Eve of us all since most of the Hatfields, including devil ants, came from his line. John was instructed by his father to gather up the dead bodies of the McCoy sons who had been shot after Ellison Hatfield died. His father told him to return them to Randall McCoy in order to try and keep the peace between the two immediate families. Up to this point Randall McCoy and Valentine Hatfield had been good neighbors and Valentine wished to try and preserve their friendship since he was not involved in the shootings. This goes to enforce the facts stated in Thomas Dotson's book The Hatfield and McCoy Feud after Kevin Costner, rescuing history that not all the families in the area were feuding with each other. I'll go ahead and put that back where it goes. Yeah. There's another one there. We'll get that one in a second. Charity. I like that name. Okay, now this. O-R-N Orin. We'll have to look this one up now. This is going to be a tricky one. This is one we're going to have to maybe do in post-production. Death date is July 19th. 1890 uh o-r-n i can't tell what that is M or, like an M, the M. yeah i can't really tell this is another you can tell polly hatfield born April, I says 6, 18, 22, 23, 23. 1823, okay. 1823, died May 27th, I'm thinking 1905, but I'm not 100%. Well, this is an interesting one too, I remember the name. These graveyards yeah. do one story and pick up. You a wind up. The way. You wind up finding fifty. <laughs> That's exactly right. But we'll get some down here. Get this lower end. There's one outside the fence too, back there. I see. Let's see if we can make out any names. We'll do this one first. Fenced in. Go right between them. 
Just for future reference, guys, y'all out here on these old, you know, 100-year-old cemeteries, you walk right between them. This is stepping over here is bad. Stepping over here is bad. You know, I've mentioned before, you can, in certain situations, go right through. Didn't you say your daughter? She did. Fell into one once? Yeah, to her waist. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you can fall into these old graves, guys, these old 100-year-old graves. You have to be careful. When you come out here, do not step on them. Walk in between them just to be on the safe side. I mean, you know, you don't want to, for many reasons, you don't want to fall in there. You know, I can think of a whole bunch of reasons right off the top of my head you don't want to fall in there. And plus, for me, for out of respect. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the number one one right there. That's respect. the number one one right there. Looks like that one's been knocked over by the tree, don't it? It does. I wonder if it's been replaced. I'd say this possible this is uh father and mother that says what hatfield william no nope, this is elbert yep it's a different grave probably goes over there somewhere i'm guessing the tree may have knocked it over when it grew but this is elbert hatfield born in 1877 and passed away in 1958 and rosa lee hatfield 1881 to 1956 and go back out the same way you came in don't walk on them this is a tough one. a b v looks like a b uh Born 17, so it's way deep. That's an old one. Old. It is. The rest of the dates are way deep. I don't want to go too too far here, but we'll just clear the name. A lot of, a lot of dirt been put on top of that. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go too far to get down there. I don't know how far the bottom of it is. It's born is all I can tell. It's real pretty. Somebody's done a lot of work on that to try and homemade stone. Yeah, somebody's took an old field stone. And all these years, and that's still. Yeah, that's still. That's true. Real. Somebody took an old field stone and probably sat there and just chipped it out a little at a time. That's how you did stuff back then, though. You made it up as you go. Yeah. You, you didn't go to a place that they made them. So they didn't make them. Yeah, Sears didn't do that till much later. <laughs> okay, that one is unmarked. E A H. That's got to be a Hatfield. Born in 1807. Died. Uh that one says ESH, another Hatfield, born July 28th, 03 is all it says. So we're going to assume 1803, no, 19, because the death date is 19, 19, Oh, September 17th of 80. So, born in, that would be 1803 to 1889. E-S-H. Okay. Uh, let's see. No name on this side. Nothing, on this side Nothing over here. Okay, did we get all these? We got those, okay. This one back here. One down here. And he is outside of the fence. But that's okay. I mean, it's low. I can step over. It's a real grave, too. It's not just a stone out of place. You can see the grave. It's a real grave. There is somebody here.
And we're still looking for river. Now this is the one that was knocked over. Uh, it's a it's a family. It's mother and father. J. W. Hatfield, 1860 to 1929, or it could be 1880. That's no, a six, 1860. And mother, N. Hatfield, 1863 to 1923. Well, this one looks like it's been repaired or something as well. You can see, can't make out a name at all on this side. No, I thought I saw numbers, but I guess not. I think there is, it looks like an R and an N, but born, I'm guessing B R N B O R N. Could be wrong though. And just look at these, just rocks where Danny's standing. Is that square one? Is that military by the tree? Over there? Yeah, looks like old Civil War. They did a lot of stuff like that back then. Mm -hmm. Now this is Ray Hatfield. Private Company A, 66th Infantry, World War II. August first nineteen twenty three to march fourth nineteen fifty seven And what's that one over there by the fence? Now you can see more. There's one right here. There's a stone. So there's a grave right there. Can't tell what it says. And can't make out. You can tell there's letters on it. But you can't read what they say. And you can tell there's one there as well there's a headstone right there, and tree. a footstone right there yeah there's another one directly under this tree too you really don't know where you're stepping yeah that's true about the best you can do is watch out for the obvious dips is about the best you can do okay we got all them yeah Oh, this down here, you gotta do this here. Okay, yeah, right by the tree. Let's get that right now then before we move up. There's an interesting one. Knocked over. Okay. Cannot read it. I see an H. Born... Looks like 1910 is all I can see. Now these two here were kind of, it's kind of curious about these because you've got a row there, row here, row here, row here. There's no way you could put one, two, three graves in just this little section. So that kind of makes you wonder, don't it? Uh, this one. Uh, an honest man's, the noble's word of God. Okay, this is broken. You can see the bottom half there and the top half here. This is Simon Smith, born June 22nd, 1863, and died July 13th. 1922 Alvin excuse me guys I'm in the trees here 
Albin, A-L-B-I-N, Hatfield, 1847 to 1912. And Coraline. Hatfield, 1847 to 1936. Danny over at getting his, getting his YouTube on, ain't he? I'm talking about you, bro. Oh, <laughs> any of it good? It's all good. <laughs> now here's a baby. This is a baby for sure. See how short? There, 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 there. And all of these here are just old field stones. So you're not gonna tell much about them. There's two little ones there are marble, but they look like foot stones. I'm gonna assume those are foot stones to this one back here. But we got these little ones right here by the tree and then move on up. Have you seen River yet? I haven't yet. I haven't either. This is Charity uh, Hatfield, wife of LV. Hatfield, born January 31st, 1885, and died March 16th, 1937. And you can see something, something has a burrow underneath her headstone. Something living under there. Rabbit? Small, yep, something's got a burrow underneath the headstone. This is Mabel Hatfield Staten, March 3rd, 1914 to April 29th, 1949. And here's another military. This is Earl Hatfield, West Virginia, S. Sergeant. Second? Maybe, or maybe Staff Sergeant. Staff Sergeant, I bet you, yeah, that's what it is. Company F, 307th Infantry. This guy was ground forces. World War II, BSM-PH. And I would be curious if maybe one of you military guys out there could kind of give us a hand with this one. BSM-PH. Not real sure what that is. Hmm. This guy was infantry, though. Hand hand Died in 59, there. born in 22. He probably saw action in Europe if he's infantry. Okay. Wayne Hatfield, April 5th, 1912 to March 1st, 1933. Bobby Hatfield. This see only marble one here in it. Yeah. It's a short one too. So we'll see. Uh Bobby Hatfield born. Okay, there's only one date. So we'll presume death date. Of course it could have been a stillborn as well. Could be a stillborn a newborn baby. They do that a lot back in the day. Just use one date. Uh, it's December 6, 1936, Bobby Hatfield. 
and the last one in the middle section you know you can see more you can see graves going all out through there you can see the dips uh, this is the last one in the midsection with a name this is Ray Hatfield Uh, this is Ray Hatfield, March 27th, 1915 to November 19th, 1956. Uh, here's a small one. Something missing from that one. I'm thinking there probably something used to be on top of that track. Looks like a piece of railroad reel. That's an old, yeah, old coal mine. Yeah. Uh, what is it, eight gauge or whatever it's 30, called? 30, 30, that's that 30, 30 pound, isn't it? Or the eight gauge. The little thin, thin that's rail. Small stuff, isn't it? Yeah, a little thin rail. Uh, let's see. This is, we gotta get down here. This one's leaning really bad. J, oh no, 1880 J, A. I'm thinking why, because if it was James, it'd be letters on out through there. So I'm, no, that's a born date, January. Can't tell the dates, I can't read them. I can see there's numbers, there's a zero down here, but I can't read them. This is Virginia Jenny Hatfield, born in 1888 and passed away in 1927. and Allen Hatfield December 18th 1892 to November 30th 1978 this one says beloved mother Myrtle Hatfield McCoy uh oh are you paying attention to that uh -huh. <laughs> did y'all catch that Myrtle Hatfield McCoy now that happened more than once. Yes, that's this is not the only one. We found a whole bunch of instances where worded that way and McCoy Hatfield as well. So there were quite a few times that the families actually married and we even found some links uh, that they were related. That's interesting. Okay, that's Myrtle's. Yes, this is her original stone right here. They've moved it and made a footstone out of it. When whoever put this up, see that's a newer stone obviously. Whoever did that has used her headstone as a footstone here. Interesting grave though, very. See, here's a little one. Here's one. This is Sims S. Smith, 1862 to 1921. Oh that's, that's good. Silver War. Now this one has toppled over. And let's see. It looks like someone's knocked it over. Because it's not broken. You know, when they topple, the things could break out, but. Woodrow Smith, 1914 to 1939. 
it says our son at the bottom Robert Smith 1912 to 1967 Robert Lee Smith jr. 1939 to 1994 it says sheltered in the arms of God and look here lighthouse I don't know how well you guys can see this or not but it's got a lighthouse engraved it's it is I wondered about that how long that lasts when you do that I'd say a long time if it's sealed in there you, think? you would think being a grave marker Sadie Hatfield that's a pretty stone isn't it it's like a mirror that, mirror finish, isn't that it? is really polished that is pretty look at that you could probably see the reflection of the camera in that thing this is daughter of John B and Rebecca Hatfield Sadie Hatfield 1917 to 1919 it's a two-year-old guys it is it is Broke the family's heart, no doubt. Two years old, just enough to get really attached. Okay, this is H A T T Hattie. There's no name above it. Hattie. Oh, Ball. I see it now. Ball. Hattie Ball, born. The end's backwards. Look at that. August. Something 21. Uh, there's more over here under the tree. And I see one there, one there. Uh, let's see back here in the grassy stuff and the weeds. Uh, I see a couple dents, but no markers or no field stones or anything. Somebody carved that. That's stone. That's, that's sandstone. That is carved. Somebody put a lot of work into this one. And it's angled too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, perfect angle that is. Somebody put an incredible amount of work into this one. Somebody very much loved this person. This is Troy Hatfield. December 9th, 1927 to May 9th, 1975. Possible. Dimple Hatfield Stafford, December 21st, 1923 to September 21st, 1971. Clyde Hatfield, 1916. to 1942 Nancy M Hatfield December 14th 1892 to December 14th Wow look at that 1954 to the day born and died on the same day December 14th huh Melvin D. Hatfield, 1894 to 1981. And I do believe that that actually covers the entire graveyard, if I'm, you know, not mistaken. We've got everything that was possible to get. Sure is a beautiful day, though, isn't it? Look at that sky little fluffy clouds every now and then beautiful pine trees it's a beautiful part of the country isn't it guys just natural everywhere you look and you can put the rock formations on top of that mountain beautiful place very much so
I just noticed something, Danny. There's old stones up there. There's what? Old stones. I wonder. Those are cut stones. That's square. Right angles don't like that yeah. don't happen. Yeah, that is. That's cut stone. You I'm kind of wondering. Cut that road through a graveyard? That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking, What's word there? for word. You see right there at the top there, too. See yeah. It? I would not doubt it if the road went right over top of the graveyard. Oh, and you can see one right here. There's a big dip right there. You can see where that grave is. Yeah, there's the old fence. I didn't even see the old fence yeah. right here. But why would those be up there? Been pushed over, I would say. That's what I was road. thinking when they cut the road. For all we know, they could be graves right under that. Well, that's very possible, isn't it? Yeah. Very possible. But that is cut stone. Yeah, it is. Sure is. That does not happen. In, watch that barbed wire right behind your foot. Don't trip on it. Huh. You know what we all do, Danny? What's that? Go over there. <laughs> Want this one here? He's loose. I bet you it is. Look at here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm thinking, don't you? Yeah, there may even be graves above this road. But she's gated. Yeah. We don't go behind locked gates. No. If somebody locks their gate, they don't want people in there. We, we respect that. But this is what it looks like from up top. You can see the old fence. And old posts, you can tell they've rotted out and been replaced, rotted out and been replaced. And somebody's put a couple metal ones too. Beautiful old place though, isn't it? It is. Well, Danny, what do you think? Man, I've had a great day. I have it's too, been man. Good. It's been a good little trip, man. It's been neat following you around. This has been a fun little trip now. Kind it, of give an idea of what you do. I've yeah. kind of documented that a little, little bit along the way too, about <laughs> what y'all do. <laughs> a lot of work to that. Yeah, there, there is. There is. It just lays all up here by itself, doesn't it? Just a little piece yeah. of little grass. Yeah, it does. It's back on a hillside. You can see River Road goes up through there, and there's a few houses, a few houses scattered here and there. But other than that, it is just pure mountainside. Yeah, we're going to have to back, back off here. Just to yeah, we're going to have to go back down in reverse. <laughs> How's your backing up skills? Ah, it's all right. It's right. a good school bus driver. A good point. But good I'll point. tell you that, we'll talk about that when we get out on the main road. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I guess we're about ready here, ain't we? I think we've documented everything here and even got a pretty overview of the graveyard. All right, we're going to head on out of here and head back to the campground and uh, move on with our video from there. We'll see you guys in a minute. Well, it looks it's like we're... been good, ain't it, buddy? It sure has, man. I it's... appreciate you, man. Hey, right back at you, Hollering man. at me and coming down and camping with you and you let me go with you to the graveyard. I learned a lot from you, brother. Thank hey, you so much. Right back at you, man. I had a good old time. And you did a good job backing back off that hill, too. Just thought I'd tell you no, we that. We did get back off of one piece, didn't we? <laughs> we survived. That's the main thing, man. We we made it off the hill. All right, man. I'll get back over to the county, and you let me know when you want to do something else, and we'll do something else. Okay, man. That sounds like a plan. My, that my sounds really full. good. I know yours is, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, we, we both got to go to the dentist tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, we went both went last week. Yeah, same we day. had same day appointments didn't last week, and then di didn't know it, but yeah. <laughs> Twice in a row, dental appointments, different places. So we gotta get our toofers all straightened out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, but man. We are all packed up. We've got all of our junk. Got our side all cleaned up. Nothing, no trash, nowhere. And we are good to go, guys. So I guess, you know, I, I very much, very much, yeah. both of y'all, hope you guys enjoyed our little trip. Hope you, you know, enjoyed our little. You know, we tried to throw in a little bit of, you know, camping, a little bit of cool, a little bit of adventure, a little bit of history. 
you know? Yeah, you've done the arrowheads. That was cool. Yeah, the arrowheads, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, this has been a really cool trip. Hey, guys, <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a Thank really great day. Thank you for y watching. And we will see you guys next time on the Hillbilly Files Camping with Leo and our Appalachian Roots with Dan. That's right. <laughs>